Hello guys, and today I wanted to bring you another video as part of my extensive Drupal 7 coverage. What I wanted to talk about th this time is something new in Drupal 7 um, called Install Profiles. Now, if you check the last video, I'll put a link to it somewhere in the annotations, but if you check the last video, you'll see that I covered the installation process. And in that, you'll see the first, the first step is selecting install profile, and the, there's two options, two options that weren't there before, standard and minimal. And today, I'm going to compare the two and show you, show you what's what. Uh, first, let me talk about the philosophy between standard and minimal. The goal of Drupal 7 was to really make Drupal more user friendly, but with that comes modules that long time Drupal developers may not need. But it's still important to the Drupal folks that that Drupal becomes usable. So what they decided to do is stick the developer friendly version in a section and and not non developer first time user um section in this section if you will and that's where standard and minimal came from minimal is obviously for the minimalist who wants to build everything themselves and is just a framework as Drupal has been in the past but standard is where Drupal 7 starts to really excel itself for the first time user and um, and add in some uh, functions functionality so today I'm gonna to compare the differences between um standard and minimal um I'm gonna cover as many the differences in core as I can. Um but before before I start this I just wanna say that um uh, in this triple seven series there are many many things I could cover and I'm just gonna try and squish it down as much as I can because I know you're all not interested in Drupal but a lot of you are so that's why I'm doing this series um, so if any of you Drupal guys want to post down in the comments what you'd like to see as part of Drupal 7 is um, I'll, I'll definitely bear that in mind for a future video so far what I've got in mind is uh, um, the last video, which was obviously the differences in the installer, this video talking about the two different in install profiles, then the next video, which I'm going to hopefully do on the differences in the admin interface, uh, a future video talking about the differences in theming, and the theming video will get into quite a lot of development stuff, so that will be a very, very cool video. And lastly, I'm going to do a, a video on new types of content handling in Drupal and content editing. So those are my ideas for what I'm going to do in future videos. If you've got any more ideas, please feel free to let me know. Okay, so before we get into the differences between the two install profiles, it's worth me noting that either install profile can be manipulated and changed in in the module settings to behave like the the other one but the goal of these is to simply make it easier out of the box so I, j I just wanted to make that clear before we um, get into this so we're going to be comparing the differences that they have at a stock level without any change. Okay, so what I think we should do first is navigate to our modules area because that's where some of the big differences lie. But while we're doing that, we can see that on the standard version versus versus the minimal version, we have slightly different forms of navigation. If we click between them, you can see that on the standard version there's two more bars now on the minimal version it's just kind of like a stock 
Drupal 6 Garland theme that you've been used to. Um, the, this um, menu system on cover related videos but it allows you to have e easier access to um, commonly used tasks when you're logged in. So I'm not going to go over this now really but you'll see bits because I'm going to do that in a later video as I said but you'll see bits as I'm navigating around this. So on the standard install you go to simply click on modules to enable the modules and we get this thing called an overflow and all, all the settings for this page are in a light box and again I'll cover this in a later video but um, all, the, all the admin settings are in the light box so that's on the um, standard version what about on the minimal version? Well, on the minimal version, we have this management block, which is kind of like the admin user block he had in Drupal 6, just renamed. So, on the minimal version, we have the same old menu, but some um, changes that have been made. We get to that by simply going to um, our modules area. And we get something that's very similar to what, what we had in Drupal 6. Okay, so let's look at the differences between the modules. Um, on the uh, on the standard install, we have a uh, field API dashboard. Um, database login and comment installed we also have f file um, activated which is required for one of the other modules a key thing is that we also have image and as you'll see in the that overlay that I was talking about before um, and we also have a new shortcut module search is enabled by default but if we go over and look into our, our um, modules area on our minimum site, none of the none of those features are kind of enabled by default. So that kind of gives you a taste of what the difference is like between minimal and standard. Another place where you see that is on the content types screen so if we go to um it's in structure on this new this new menu system because it's worth noting that on the new um on the new drupal 7 layout you don't actually on the new drupal 7 minimum install profile one of the big changes is you don't have any mandatory content types so you you just um, create all your content types, create all the fields yourself, which is kind of going towards a more CK layout. And I'll go over um, the more CK type stuff in the file handling video. But that's on the minimal install. What about on the standard install? As you'd um, expect there's some different stuff so we can go over here into our structure um nice little sub menu there and then content types you see we have kind of like in Drupal we have page content type which is basically the same but we also have an article content type which is a good thing because most um most people for you used to use blog module for this, but it's more suited to this. So if we look um, at the manage um, fields option, we can see there. And the, so our 
I hope that has given you a little insight into the differences um, between the two installs. So let's just let's just recap. The main differences are the big change in the admin system. That's what I wanted to really get across. The fact that on the minimal you've got no content types and hardly any modules installed. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to my channel. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. It's at TomRoger12. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next Drupal video.